Greetings folks, it's Sarah with Obadiahs. Today I am doing a technical review on the Fire Chief EPA wood furnace line. This particular model that I have right here is the FC 1500 model. However, the construction of the larger FC 1700 model will be very similar. I really hope that you guys find this video helpful. The furnace blower is located on the rear of the unit and the filter box does attach to the rear of the blower. I have the side insulated panel removed so I can show you the construction of this unit and how the heat flow works. So the blower is located here on the rear. There, the blower pushes the heat below. Once the side panel is attached, this is essentially basically under pressure. So the air will naturally rise up through the front and into the top of the furnace here. This is where the plenum will attach. The plenum comes standard with two eight inch outlets on the top. So this can be ducted into your HVAC ductwork, um, or you could even put a couple of vents off the top and um, you'll go ahead and see that in the installation once we're complete. So I do wanna go ahead and show you this side panel here. So you have about, looks like about an inch of insulation in here with the reflective paneling. So the goal of this is to really keep the heat inside the furnace. So rather than having a unit to where, you know, you're in the garage and you feel like it's 120 degrees in that particular room, that's not necessarily going to happen because Fire Chief does a really good job of keeping the heat inside the firebox and these insulated panels help to do that. I'm going to show you guys inside the firebox. So the construction of the firebox is going to be a 3 16 steel. Then it does have an interior lining of stainless steel panels. So both sides and the rear of the unit are lined with the stainless steel. Between the sheet metal and the stainless is a calcium silicate. So that is a very thick, strong material. This firebox is built to withstand the heat. Fire Chief uses Scamol Refractory inside their firebox. I particularly appreciate this, number one, um, because it is a standard fire brick size. This is really important when you're getting replacement parts in the future. Now, Scamol material is a refractory, so it is not a standard masonry fire brick. It is much lighter, much more durable, and less susceptible to cracks over time. Um, so this is why Fire Chief uses this particular material in their firebox, because their goal is to get the firebox hot um, and keep all of the BTUs inside the box. Now, one thing I do want to point out is a lot of people will tend to pull out their ash pan um, when they're operating the stove, and this is going to be a big no-no on the fire chief. Um, if this door is open, you can see that this ash pan door is fully gasketed, and that's for a reason. That's to keep this thing airtight. This unit will auto-adjust and auto-draft. Um, based on your thermostat set up in your home. So if you start pulling out your ash pan or leave your ash pan door open, then you can get too much airflow inside the firebox and too hot of a fire. Um, if you do this and you warp your firebox, you're not technically under warranty because you're not burning it to the manufacturer specifications. So I do like to point that out. Um, people especially who have old school style furnaces that maybe aren't necessarily airtight are especially used to doing that. It's also not required to have to pull out your ash pan to get the fire started. So just keep that in mind. Inside the firebox, we do also have a roller grate system. So they give you this handle um, to stick in here. This is behind your ash door. So underneath your ash door, you install your handle, and this is how you use your roller grate. So it literally spins completely around in a circle. So this is especially nice to have um, when burning wood. It's not usually a standard feature that you would see on a wood burning fire 
furnace. Um, Fire Chief is one of the few companies who actually does this. So this is an upgrade over their base model of the 1000. So this, this roller grate allows you, once your wood is most of the way burned down and you have coals, um, you know, a lot of times you'll get excess fly ash that builds up in your firebox. So you, so you just give it a quick spin here. The fly ash and excess ash will fall down. Um, it basically shakes your wood coals out and then you can reload your furnace. Located directly below is the ash pan. So this is very, very easy maintenance. Um, another similar furnace that's no longer available on the market was the Napoleon. Now, the Napoleon had a dual vortex combustion system. So what's cool about this fire chief is it's a super, super simple design. You have a bar, which is your reburn system, that goes across the whole top of the firebox. Now this one is unique because this bar has three different areas of air holes. So there's air holes on each side and the top of the bar. This is basically like a triple vortex reburn combustion system. So I'm very excited to see this unit burn. I think it's gonna be highly efficient. As always, don't forget to click the thumbs up and like our videos and share them with your friends. Click the subscribe button on our channel and you'll get notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.